Hello everyone, it's Ashley from Plan here, and today I'm super excited to tell you about one of our newest features available to Plan Plus members, Pinterest scheduling on Plan. So let's dive right in and I'll show you how to do it. So first you're going to open up your Plan desktop and go to your upper right hand corner. You're going to click on the new tab that you'll see labeled Pinterest so that you can add your Pinterest account into Plan. You can say continue with Pinterest. And whatever Pinterest account you have already logged into, let's say you've logged in on desktop or you might have to log in here again, um, you're going to allow it access. And once you've done that, your Pinterest will go ahead and load into your plan workspace. So you'll see that mine loaded in here. And I'm just going to show you around a few of the awesome features that we have available for you. So the first question that I'm sure you all have is, will plan auto post to Pinterest? The answer is yes. So once you've scheduled your pin, it will auto post. You can either say pin now or you can schedule the time to pin it later. So let's walk through a few of the different steps that you can do to choose what board you're wanting to pin to or how many pins you're wanting to do or whatever it is that you're looking for in Pinterest. So let's say I'm planning out a pin and I'm just going to do some free content. Let's just say coffee. So whatever your brand is, whatever your business is, you will obviously use Pinterest just like you do a lot of the other social media accounts. The difference is that Pinterest can be really great for your business, especially if you're wanting to um, increase your email subscriber list. Maybe you're wanting to sell things. You're an e-commerce business. There's lots of different really awesome ways that you can use Pinterest for your business. And we even have a blog post that I will be attaching to this video that will tell you about all the different ways that you can use Pinterest for your business. So let's just choose this first one and add that as our picture. So some of the different things that you'll notice in the Pinterest create page is that you not only have your title of your pin. So let's say, you know, morning coffee. Um, you'll also have this description box where you can put your caption. So that would be what comes up when you have your pin, what will be under the pin. And then you also have the opportunity to add a pin URL. So let's say you're wanting this pin to take you to your um, homepage or maybe where you would have users subscribe to your email list. You can have that there. So let's scroll down. I'll move myself over a little bit. You'll see that you can either save as a draft, of course, just like all of the other social media accounts that you have on your plan workspace. You can pin it now. So in this, you can select what board you're wanting to pin it to. So all of your different boards that are already a part of your Pinterest will show up here. So that's really awesome. You can also create a new board or even a secret board. Let's say I have this pin, this coffee pin, and I'm wanting to pin it to a bunch of different boards all at once. You can do that. You can select up to 10 boards. So let's say... I'm wanting to add another board. Just click add another board, select it, and you're ready to go. You can keep doing that up to 10 boards. Let's say I'm wanting to do a custom time, pin it later. You know, I have my marketing strategy and I'm wanting to pin it at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or whatever it is for you. I can do that. I can schedule it down here just like I would normally. So I'm going to schedule it for tomorrow. If you have it on multiple different boards, you're going to want to make sure that you schedule all of them for whenever um, you're wanting to post it. Maybe it's the same time. Maybe you want to post it to one board today and one board tomorrow. That's totally fine. You can do it all here. So I have them scheduled. I'll say schedule posts. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my calendar and show you where it pops up. So you'll see here that I have those two posts, uh, those two pins available to be posted tomorrow. And you can click on them. You'll see them just like normal. You can unschedule them, um, you know, change the time, whatever you want to do. So let's look at a couple different things you can do with Pinterest in your plan workspace. So we've already gone over the calendar and the create page. Let's go to our media collection section. So just like all of your other media collections in Facebook or Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, all of that will be located here so that you can have all of your media across your entire brand um, located in the same spot. So maybe let's say you wanted to make a new collection that was labeled for Pinterest, or you can even tag them for Pinterest, just like you do for your Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is. And then your strategy, which we all know is my favorite part of the plan workspace. You can make your custom Pinterest strategy, just like you do for Instagram, Facebook, all of the different accounts that you have connected to your plan workspace. 
I'm really excited to see you all dive in and use Pinterest for your different businesses and brands. And we can't wait to see all the awesome things that you create. Happy planning.